Hey guys, so what we are looking at here is an OWASP cheat sheet for password storage. So what they guide us here is with whenever you are storing your password in a database. So what guidance they give here is you need to hash that password when you are storing in a database. And also you need to use a cryptographically strong credential specific salt. If you scroll down here they give us these four libraries. So you can use any one of these libraries for hashing a password. So we'll be going with the, the library called bcrypt. So if we take a look in the npm package manager, npm package manager, there's a package called bcrypt.js. So it's quite a um, famous package because it has somewhere around 500,000 weekly downloads. So how we'll be hashing our function is we'll be using this bcrypt.hash function. I mean hashing our password is we'll be using this bcrypt.hash function and we'll pass in the password name so the password and we'll use the salt size of the salt and one more thing to take into consideration is if we go back to a database uh, let's do psql voting app and let's select star from users you can see here um, the id is 1 for sam so for the next user when we try to sign him up uh, his ID will be 2 so this is essentially a bad pattern to follow because if you take a look like I have searched it in stack overflow and over here he says um, it's better to use UUID rather than sequence because if you want to protect a table with users data from snooping hackers that are trying to guess others ID so if you are using a sequenced based ID, uh, people can actually guess what the next ID is going to be. So if you are using a UUID, so it will be difficult for them. So if you want to take a look what a UUID looks like, you search for UUID and you can see here, UUID generator tool. So this is essentially how a UUID is going to look like. So to tell our type ORM user entity, we can say while generating our password, we can see here I'm in the ID. You can see a UUID, and that is it. So, if you are trying to create a new user here, let's take a look. Let's start our server first. If I need to change the directory to server now, then start our server. let's go back in our playground so I'm here in localhost 3000 slash graphql I'll press the play button now seems like our server didn't start up yet so let's go back and take a look in our database now if you select all from users you can see her ID has changed into a UUID and for um, hashing our password in a database we need to have a hook so essentially if there is an insert happening in a database we need to do something before that so you can use this if you take a look in the type ORM docs scroll down here listeners and subscribers so we need to subscribe to our um, user entity so over here you can subscribe to our user entity and we can say before insert we should do something before insert so let's copy this thing over and let's create a new folder right under source let's call it subscribers slash um, we'll call the file name user.subscriber.ts let's um, import this event subscriber let's also import this entity subscriber interface let's change this post to user so we, we only have a user entity right now and for some reason nest.js don't understand um, absolute paths so we need to change this to relative path so we change this to relative path let's change this over to user and let's change and let's import this as well so I'm importing by pressing control space 
and let's also change this to user and just for now we'll just console.log this event.entity let's take a look what's happening inside and we also need to say to our type form config that we are using a subscriber so let's say over here in subscribers and let's copy this thing over Subscribers. So essentially, after a directory name, we need to go up a directory. We need to check the folder name called subscribers. Then all the file names under dot subscribers. So we will say we we'll go up a directory. The folder name called subscribers, and all the file name ending with subscriber. that's it so let's start our uh, server so it's automatically starting right now because we have saved it let's go back and try to create a new new user so we'll call him Mike and let's change this password to Mike press the play button now and let's go back and take a look so here in our user subscriber we have essentially set console.log our event.entity so if you take a look in our, um, sub, our server logs here you can see it says before post inserted and all the entities over here username email and password so what we will be doing is we will be hashing a password before our password is getting inserted so let's install the bcrypt.js library. So we can do that by saying bcrypt npm install bcrypt. So we'll be using yarn for that. Let's stop our server now and yarn add uh, bcrypt.js. Let's import bcrypt now. Put star as bcrypt um, bcrypt.js. And now let's um, so what we need to do is we need to hash the password so we'll be using this function called bcrypt.hash so we need to hash uh, the password so we'll get that password from event.entity.password so what we need to hash is the password so we'll say event.entity.password and we need to hash it by saying bcrypt dot so right now I'm not getting any suggestion because I have not installed the type rip types so you can do that by saying um, npm install at type slash pickup dot js pickup slash js so we can do that by saying yarn add dash d for dev dependency because only the developers are going to use this for helper functions so at types So if it's a dev dependency it won't be compiled during creating the production ready app. So that's a plus point for using dev dependency. So the size of our application will reduce dramatically. And now let's try to get the suggestions by saying by pressing control space. Okay, now you can see here I'm getting bcrypt.hash as a function here it says string so we can pass in the password so we'll get that from event.entity.password and the salt size the size of salt will be just say 12 for now and I guess it's complaining over here because it's a, it's not a promise let's change this to a async function 
So let's await this. Okay, so we'll start our server now. Let's go back and create a new user. Let's call the new user. Um, let's call them Paul. Let's call it Paul. Paul at Paul.com and Paul. Password is Paul. So let's press the play button now and let's go back. Now, oh, here, if you take a look in our logs, it says insert into user ID. Let's take a look in our database. Let's select all the users. And now you can see our password has been hashed. So essentially, um, you might be thinking so how we are going to understand whether the user has given us the correct password while we are logging in so we can use this function called um, bcrypt compare over here to check the password so we'll compare the password given by the user and we'll pass in the hash from our database so we'll compare the hash from our database so this hash compare this from the password the user has given us and this will return a true if it's true or false if it's if it's not the correct password given by the user so that is it guys so thank you guys for watching